welcome back. Nice to see you all again. For today's video, we'll focus on the quantum number of electron part 2, where we will focus on how to sketch and draw the shape of SPDF orbital with the correct technique and the easiest technique ever. So let's start off with the S orbital. Everyone know that S orbital means L equals to 0. And when L equals to 0, M is equals to 0. And therefore, you only have one orientation for the S orbital. S orbital is in the sphere shape. So no matter how you put the sphere shape, it will still be in the same arrangement. And before we start drawing, the first thing that you need to have is the correct axis. You need to have the x, y, and z axis. And it can be arranged in any way that you like, but you must label them. As you can see, the one given and the one that I have is slightly different. Okay, it doesn't matter as long as you label who is x, who is y, and who is z. So let's start. S orbital means it's a sphere, so it just simply draw a sphere around all the axes. You can shape them, and that is your S orbital that you can draw in your exam. Make sure you label them. So there is two labels that you need to focus on, the axis and also the orbital that you are drawing. So make sure you label all of them. Next, we we'll look into P orbital. If you remember, P orbital means L equals to 1, therefore M will be negative 1, 0 and positive 1. As you can see, M, I have 3 numbers, therefore I have 3 arrangement of the P orbital. I have Px orbital, Py orbital and Pz orbital. What makes Px, Py, Pz different? Px means that the dumbbell is on the x axis. Py means that the dumbbell is on the y axis. Pz, obviously, when the dumbbell is on the z axis. And if you are going to draw it in your exam or on your books, first thing, axis. Make sure you draw your axis and make sure you label them. Like I say, it's not necessarily going to be the same. But you must label that. Next, we are going to decide which one are we going to draw. So if I'm going to draw, I start off with Px orbital. Px orbital means my dumbbell will be on the x axis. And that is my x axis. Therefore, my dumbbell will be on the x axis. Alright, and you can shape them simply. So you can see that right now, that is your Px orbital where the dumbbell will be on the x-axis. The second one that I need to draw will be the Py or the Pz. But before I proceed to the second one, the main thing that we need to have over here again is the axis. If you are going to have it all in one answer, the arrangement of the axis must be the same. If you have the x on the left, and then you have the z on the center, and y on the right, it must be in the exact arrangement of the axis if everything is in the same answer. The axis must be the same. Next, I'm going to draw for the Pz orbital. And the Pz orbital means that the dumbbell will be on the z axis. And the z axis over here, where you will have the dumbbell on that axis. So, Shape them simply. So that will be my Pz orbital. Make sure you label what orbital you are drawing. Last but not least, I can have Py orbital. So before I draw my Py orbital, I just want to remind you that my x, y, and z must be in the correct arrangement as before. 
and the py orbitals means the dumbbell is on the y axis so make sure you draw your dumbbell on the y axis and simply shade it off and that will be your py orbital and because we have three different orbital over here therefore it's very very important for you to label what orbital you are drawing whether it's a px py or pz simple next and last but not least let's look into d orbital d orbital means l is equals to 2 m therefore equals to negative 2 negative 1 0 positive 1 and positive 2 so i have five numbers of m therefore d will have five orientation and what is all this orientation means what is mean by yz xy z square xz x square minus y square let's see first and foremost it still your exist with label that is the first thing and we are going to start off with d y z orbital what is mean by d y z orbital it means that your clover leaf will be sitting in between y and z in between y and z and the easiest way will be highlight a bit of your y that is my y and that is my z did you see a cross so this is what i mean by in between this is what i mean by in between so where are we going to draw the clover leaf in between y and z axis so first look second look third look between y and z last look so as always you shade it off a bit then you can see the presence of your clover leaf so you can see right now all your loops the shape of the clover leaf is actually located between the y and z axis so the easiest way is to identify where is your x and y axis before you draw them so let's move to the second i have d x y orbital x y orbital means what it means that your clover leaf shape will be sitting in between the x and the y axis in between so that is my x that is my y in between in between in between in between, in between. so i'm going to draw them in between x and y so that is in between x and y so as always we are going to shade it off a bit so that you can clearly see the position of the lobes so that is the lobes between x and y exist and that is where your clover leaf should locate it simple the third one i'm going to have d x z orbital similar as previous in between x and z axis in between so in between x and z in between x and z in between x z and in between the axis so we are going to draw the loops in between the x and z in between and in between and there you go your clover leaf of d x z orbital shake them off and that is your d x z orbital how about d x square minus y square what makes x square and y square different when it's a square means it will sit straight away on the x and on the y 
on the x-axis and on the y-axis. So I'm going to draw the loop on the x-axis and also on the y-axis. It will be sitting on the axis when it's a square. So we are going to shade it off so that you can clearly see the loop is right now sitting on the x-axis and also on the y-axis. And that is how we are going to draw the orbital. Last but not least, how about d z square? Like I said, z square means it will be sitting on the z. But I may have z, but I need a clover leaf. So how should the clover leaf look in the z? This is the most special one where we have a ring in between the loops. So first and foremost, I will have a loops on the z axis because it's a z square. So I will have a loop on the z axis. After the loop on the z axis, I will then have a donut ring. I will then have a donut ring where the donut ring will be circular the z. Can you see that? So that is my d z square. This will be my d z square. Bear that in mind, the ring will be circular around it. That is my d z square. And before I end, I want to remind you again, the axis for every drawing must be the same. And also, you must label the every orbital that you have drawn. Every single orbital deserves a label. And that's it for the drawing. Simple, simple. Don't make it so complicated. We are not going to draw a 3D. A 2D will do. So I'll see you in the next video. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you.